Welcome back in TechDB Studio and in this video I'm going to show you how you can basically customize the LOD in landscape. So for this video our one of our subscribers just said this so let's give him thanks. Okay so let's get start. The first thing let's create a landscape. So you can do however you do basically usually. So this is simply create a landscape and once you create a landscape you'll be see something like that. Once you select that, the right side, uh, if you scroll down, you find here that distribution settings of LOD. So this is slightly different from the regular base LOD system, okay? So for understanding this system, what you need to do, you can use the TDS Hero plugin. So just enable the TDS Hero plugin, something like that. So you find this thing in Epic Marketplaces, it's totally free, it's have lots of downloader, so you can check it, okay? So I created that in a blank project because it's uh, really needed. So here we have now this thing. Now at our blueprint class, we are going to run a simple command line. Uh, we are even not using any command line. We just write a blueprint uh, code that TDS hero show performance uh, settings or performance. So now we have basically the performance settings. So if I click on display, we'll be see the how the performance is currently right now. Okay, so. Once we have the performance settings, now what we need to do is we need to go to light or lit, then go to optimization viewports, and here we need to go to shader complexity and quartz. So here basically find the how the LOD is working at share currently. Okay, so you can go to as far as you can. Okay, but make sure you are also in a, as near as, as possible the ground because it's uh, needed for you to understand the how the logic is going to be work and for more understanding the how it's actually the size are uh, you should uh, imp uh, add a character mesh okay any kind of like a character mesh so you can understand basically why is the basic actually you are and the size okay so that is the perfect now once you select the landscape you can scroll down at here the LOD setting so there's a zero uh, LED screen zero zero and others so for getting the best performance you can increase it to one and keep it that a one to one so it's going to give you as large as possible but yeah you can go uh, the maximum is you can go to 0 0.1 and if you down it you'll be see that something like that okay did you see now the grids are very small okay as much the small the triangle the draw calls will be increased now if you increase it to 10 by 10 so you can see that now how it's now impacting okay you can see the how you uh, basically you can adjust this volume okay one or ten so you need to just play around with this first of volume okay so it's going to be work for you something like that the 10 one and now about this one this is the LOD for others okay the LOD is others is basically help like a distance it's basically work like a distance so if i uh, keep it as a only one so you'll be fine something like this is hugely optimized but make sure this allergy will be impact in your landscape how let me show you so if i click on now uh, if i back in the shader default and go to landscape and script here let's create some mountain something like that and let's create here some downloads and here you can see what is the basically I'm talking about okay because you didn't increase the alloy too much so it's now behaving something like that and even to the impact in your collisions also okay but it will be give you very good quality performance but yeah now uh, you can see oh, let me just bag it here hmm. okay cool so you can see now this is more light okay and but yeah as i said that it's going to be conflict in a collision okay so for fixing this thing make sure uh whenever you are basically keeping or trying to minimize it you can try to uh only work with uh the uh the zero one okay don't keep it uh, very small okay or it's going to be basically impact like you can keep rather to five are uh, the other salary okay so it even good for you and also or even for the uh you know the for close range you can keep it uh, like uh, under one so in a close range you'll be get better uh basically the, you can say the triangles and in the long distance or the further away you'll be get uh like uh you know the down as down possible okay but yeah don't worry about this uh, kind of like uh you know the jiggling shaders it will be fixed under some time okay 
and also <clears throat> you need to keep it mind about uh, also let's make some landscape here in the further way so you can understand what i'm basically talking about okay so let's just strain it something like that blah okay now it's cool okay now let me make it some more trolls something like this so this is the other LOD and you can see the how the sharp how much this sharpness are here okay now let's try now ah, let me go first in this way okay and you can see now the how the LOD is now behaving okay so you need to just you know just play around with this thing like how you want so that is basically the way of uh, customizing or modifying your landscape LODs okay you know the LOD is very tricky stuff so you need to just play around with this and adjust with your map because if I now give you a value it's not going to be applied for your map because I don't know what is the basically size of your map or how you you know basically draw your map for example your game is basically a high details game for example this is a pc game and it's need very high details in this uh in the nearest point and in the further further way it don't need that required okay so something like that but it's a, for example the cinematic stuff it's both require the close and long range both require high so i guess you understand how you need to do that so see you in next video thank you